was uh, sentenced uh, today, but for some reason Mr. he Cosby. could not stop laughing. For some apparent reason, he and his attorneys. We're not. We're laughing. Bill Cosby right was sentenced today uh, for uh, three to ten years in prison. Well, he right. can laugh all the way to the jails, so. and he's just so. laughing for some reason. I don't understand. What's that about? Uh, it's I probably mean, that, he made a joke. He's a comedian. Yeah, it's got to be some yeah. humor. In, Something gonna, in the pudding. Have to I find think in it's, this uh, it's it's just a, it's a smoke screen. I think it's or embarrassment. Maybe, yeah, or it's uh, you know arrogance. Uh, uh, arrogance. Yeah. So I just I really oh, I can't believe that I'm really going down for this. Right. But it's amazing, you know, at the age of uh, 81, yeah, and the wealth of this man, you just can't hide b- behind both, right. you know. But 81 years old, can you imagine that? And he's legally blind. No, I think about jail on a daily basis. Yeah. I don't know you, why. You think about I, jail I, I mean, on a daily I think basis? we kind of are living in a jail, but we're not, you know. Mm. But just a day in jail is like a traumatic, yeah, thought for me. And and it's a very interesting thing, like the. Uh, prison culture and what happens to you psychologically yeah. when your freedom is taken it's away taken from away. you. It's taken away. Well, American uh, prison culture specifically, right? Well, all prison culture, yeah. but yeah, I mean, here too. But I have a bit of a fascination with prisons right now. You have a fascination yeah, with prisons? I, I, yeah. What's, what's the fascination about? Um, I just, uh, I have a lot of compassion for these people who mm-hmm. are just behind bars yeah. and, and uh I don't know if human no, beings should be punished. for the innocent or the, Both or the, the, the guilty? Who, the guilty, the innocent. I just don't well, know if that's the right approach Yeah, to, you don't bl- oh, really? to, to reforming someone's behavior is to stick them in a prison, mm-hmm. you know? And yeah, But, yeah. I mean, Bill Cosby, whatever. Well, chop, how about chop that. his dick off? Okay, I cursed. Yeah. Just, if oh, if sexual you assault <laughs> is your thing. <laughs> Pretty medieval right there. I am kind of medieval. <laughs> All right. Yeah. <laughs> chop, chop his dick off. Just buy You know, penis. in some countries, if, you you, if, you get, if you're caught stealing, they... they uh, chop off your, your, yeah. your that'll head. teach you and you know, not only will it teach you you won't actually be able to commit that crime again yeah literally but yeah. what if you're locked away you're put away and you just can't get to anyone to harm them or to you know steal or commit any crime i mean you can c- commit crime right. crimes are, are committed still in prison right but good, good and, point though well when crimes are committed in prison because these people have no rights it's not like they're yeah. taking them to court and they're you know these, yeah. uh, they're so it's a it's a sad situation. It is a sad situation. What else? Uh, what is it? It's life. Yeah. Well, no. There's some it's, beauty there's to life. There's a lot of tension here. <laughs> here on vie. the planet. The, yeah. And it's so weird because I'm not used to being two of you just staring at me. I feel mm. like I'm being interviewed well, right now for like. I'm, lo- I'm loving this, this <laughs> shot. The you job know, this of. Sight. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you're beautiful. So I, I'm I'm enjoying uh, this moment. This sight, sweet. you know, really, really. Well, Bill Cosby, you know, well, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this man. You know, uh, I, uh, I can't say that I'm not still a fan of Bill Cosby for his talent and for what he's done. I still can't, you know, I'll never forget uh, right. Mr. Huxable, you know. But, um, you know, hey, if you do the crime, you have to, I guess, you know, time. pay. You got to do the time. Yeah. So it's just sad at, just the, be at good. his age. Just be good. Yeah. Don't go to jail. Yeah. Just be a good You're person. You're right. You're absolutely Don't right. Don't commit crimes. You're absolutely just right. Just be good. I love that. You know, sometimes I think crimes are hard to not commit. Certain crimes. You know, like what? I don't like taking a red light or something like that. That's oh, okay. Is that, is that your crime? Are you are you guilty? That'll of that be crime? that'll be my. Well, not really, but you know those type of little I jaywalk. petty, petty, petty. Right there we you go. What I that, jaywalk? <laughs> Get this woman out of here. <laughs> Speaking of jaywalk, time. you know, in fact, uh, the city's actually uh, looking to or they're pushing so hard to legalize the e-bikes. You know, the electric bikes. They're trying to push so hard before the L train shuts down in April of 2019. Uh, there's a hard push, strong push for what uh, is to legalize. E-bike? Well, it's the bikes that uh, there's a little motor on them, and you can kind of scoot around. So I see oh, they're, scooters, they're, they're illegal. They're illegal. I, I see them well, everywhere. You know that they're yeah, yeah they're, well, they're, they're vehicles. Is anything enforced here? That's how I get my food. <laughs> actually, they're, they're right. basically vehicles. <laughs> they're always going the wrong way in traffic. <laughs> Huh. They're basically on the sidewalk, vehicle, vehicles, then they yeah. get mad at you when you're in the way. Yeah, true. Si- yeah. That's bad on the sidewalk. You hit a little old lady, and well, that's the thing. So, you know, uh, so there's a lot of uh, back and forth with that. So mm-hmm. they're looking strongly uh, to uh, push for the, to legalize the L train. These uh, these these scooters. Yeah, well, we're just talking L about L train. Yeah. Well, Ian, I know will be affected. I by think this, they should uh, teach swimming lessons for all the millennial <laughs> hipsters. I mean, like, if the boat traffic wasn't so bad. 
I feel like people would get really into that if there was a doc to swim across. Yeah. Right. It, I, you know, it would, I would be another that. trend. Yeah, like, totally. exactly. Yeah. It would totally be a, like a health trend. Like, I swim in the morning Ugh. across the channel. I hate <laughs> you. <laughs> With my chai tea and the other stuff. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, New York City uh, wants everyone, everybody's help, every New Yorker's help uh, in helping to improve nightlife uh, in New York City. So they're looking for ideas, they're looking for thoughts on how to improve it the wow. nightlife improve industry nightlife. in the uh, in this city. Well, I this love is like it. one of the best areas yeah. for nightlife in the world? I one feel of like yeah. it's not. Well, that's it's a big part. I'm uh, a little bored. It's a big bored. part of uh, the city. Really? Yes. There's so much music. Yeah. So, can't there be something else? Like well, your ideas music, are, there, everything. Like, a, I do music me, all day. <laughs> do I want to go out and see music and, and at see night? Music, no. yeah. yeah. It's like... Well, now you have torture. your shot to, uh, you know, oh, to uh, okay. chirp about or, or, or add your two cents. I always had, like, uh, this idea is, of, like, um, a daytime nightclub for, yeah. for adults. First idea, called, chirp about Called it. Crazies. There's no alcohol, uh-huh. and oh. adults just show up at, like, noon and just fucking party all day. We I love Completely that. clean, sober, dancing, and, and doing silly, like a, you know, I like, like a kid. They have a boat that, uh, like, a daytime yoga boat that parties, like, early in the morning. And uh-huh. it, you dance real hard and everything in circles around the city. I think it's called like Daybreakers or but something. But with alcohol, though. No. Without well, alcohol. Uh, there might be booze, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, yeah. I just think that's good. Healthy. Once again, you could swim across the, the channel to get to right. this club. Yeah. Well, this you know, the club. city, there, there are some uh, town hall meetings coming up uh, in all five boroughs. So, go, guys, look it up. Google uh, uh-huh. uh, to find out where these uh, town hall meetings will be uh, set up. And okay. go in and share your ideas. And Are your you thoughts going? About, I may. You know, I have some nightlife. ideas about nightlife, you know, improving the nightlife. Okay. Um, one of the uh, things I hate about nightlife nowadays Netflix. is this bottle service thing. You know, where you, you know, you <laughs> don't, they, a- they actually run your car before you actually even enter the nightclub, which I oh. stopped going to nightclubs, but that's Wait. just turn off. And yeah. they run your car for at least four, five, six hundred bucks, maybe even seven hundred wow. bucks. You know, so it's like they're forcing you to oh. buy a bottle of, I don't know, what champagne or what have you before you actually enter ah. the club. Well, this is some exclusive stuff. Are yeah. you partying like that? You go out Yeah, and you I mean, but I, I stopped doing that. I think it's ridiculous. In my, it's just ridiculous. It don't is. tell it's, me it's, how it's, to spend my exactly. five, six hundred bucks, you right. know? So I'll, I'll leave it at <laughs> that. So I do have some ideas, and I will show up, you know, <laughs> at, at one of these uh, town halls. Um, one of my favorite toy stores you know, I'm a dad. So one of my favorite toy stores is uh, will be reopening this uh, November, just in time for uh, Christmas. What is that? FAO, Sh- oh, F-A-O nice. Schwartz. I didn't realize it was closed. Yeah, they closed, uh, yeah. they closed for uh, I four, four years I haven't left my now. apartment in seven years. <laughs> 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 this is the ah! first time. Yep. Welcome. Welcome so, to the uh, world. They're, they're coming back in, uh, this, uh, next, uh, in November, just in time for the holiday season. So I'm happy about nice. that. Different location, not on Fifth Avenue. Well, Kind of on Fifth Avenue, but Rockefeller Center instead oh, of uh, further off. That's up. a good location. Good location. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm thrilled about that. <laughs> All right, and I'll just uh, cover one other topic, and then we'll do our round of chirps. Um, XM uh, Sirius. Ser- what is it? Sirius XM? Sirius XM bought Pandora. They bought Pandora. Yes. Yeah. Recorded. Big deal. Is that is that a big deal for uh, 3.5 billion bucks? It's a big deal. Sirius XM it. is millions of listeners. Yeah. Let's see how they compete with the other big streaming with, services, with the Spotify's yeah. out there, with, with the, the Apple, the yeah. music's out yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. So they, I think that's that's a good idea. They're looking to expand their li- uh, listenership. Yep. Now, do you pay for We We pay for uh, Pandora, right? Is that I don't use service? Pandora. Uh, you can get Pandora for free. You can get it for free. Yes. Yeah, I think those are the, that's the, the, the <laughs> audience that they're looking to, to capture. Okay. For whatever for whatever reason, but I'm I'm happy about that, and that just I read this the article, and uh, you know they say they they feel strongly about uh, internet radio, so which means we're not doing we're not doing bad, Ian. We're just we're in the right uh, right place, right, right in the time. arena. Yeah, internet radio is on the rise, so which is I'm happy about that. All right, with that, I think it's about that time to do what we do best and liven up the show. What do you say, Ian? Yeah. Right about it. All right, all right, folks. Jay, give us some of that too. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> All right, folks, these comments you're about to hear are real comments from real New Yorkers, your mothers, With your the brothers, voice. your sex partners, Turn it down. your drink and baptists, your whomever. Oh. <laughs> also, folks, if you'd like to call in with your chirp, call 646-690-2976. With that, Ian, what do you have? All right, this first one, <laughs> this is Armando. Armando from Astoria. Armando says this. Question. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell again. Why do chicks feel that it's okay not to shave their legs and walk around the city all dolled up? Come on now. <laughs> well, 
I mean, okay, so and, listen. And, and, Why are you looking at me? You no, want me to? Uh, just, uh, uh, I, 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 I'm the woman I'm, in the room. I, I shave. I shave every day. I'm I'm not a fan of feeling hair on my body. But uh, so, listen, I've I've seen and it's grotesque to in, see on a woman. In, in fact, I've seen a, a, a few legs out there and that, not not, not pretty. Not pretty. Right. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. I know. So the armpit. Who's the sharper, by the way? This is Armando. My uh, Armando, I feel your pain, man. I'm with you on that Neither one. Neither too, Armando. Well, I mean, what's up with that? You got to shave, I don't know. Ladies. I don't you know. You got to I mean, shave. It, you don't. But then we cross you the line and be like, to shave. Exactly. If she doesn't want to shave, then she's not going to shave. And, and fuck you if it offends you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Fuck yeah. me if it offends me. I, I, I like, get it. That's my problem. Whip that's for us to fucking figure out. How did this start? How did women shaving legs start? Wasn't this like a, this is like a modern thing? Huh? What women uh, shaving their legs? Yeah, right? and also it's been, it's not been a not time. choosing no, a gender is a modern thing. I mean, well, but I mean, I can't even. Get, I don't it, even know. There's, it's like a, it's a form of liberation. Like, why okay. do we have to shave for you? Th- I get that. I, like I that. shave for me. Uh-huh. I like Boom. it's a, it's a sensual thing. I yeah. don't like to feel hair on my body. Yeah. Uh, All right, you know, I, and I legs. guess they do. Okay. Well, Fair well thanks for that, right. chirp, Armando. Jay, we do you shave your legs? All right. There we go. Jay, Jay <laughs> got it. Yes, she does. All right. We're going to leave her that. So long. <laughs> I have to teach myself how to read. All right. What do you have, Iman? Iman? I don't know. Oh, I, haven't really, I haven't proofread these, so forgive right. me. Hi, MTA. Hi, MTA. We have to break up. I refuse to accept your broken promises anymore. It's not me. It's you. You're terrible and delusional in this relationship. Bye. Okay. So I might add the fucking subway. When a local train decides to go express one stop before yours, that happens to me a lot. But you also have to take a diarrhea. And you've been holding it in for fucking nine stops, and you, your shit is coming, and you're like, yes, my moment. I have not shit myself once in my adult life. This is it. I'm going to make it. And they go express like four stops four ahead, stops, and you got to like, and you're really working your sphincter muscles. Uh-huh, like, uh-huh. You, you know. <laughs> you're working your body And twice. I'm sorry to be gross, but this is... This I know you're people talking about experience. it. This is, this is an experience every New Yorker I know has. You're absolutely right. I saw someone shit themselves on I, the L. Ooh, really? Getting on, uh, before we get in the L, there's like a hallway. And like I was running because I didn't want to miss the train. Some dude just pulls down his pants, takes <gasps> a dump. Are you just right there? <laughs> right in the there. train or out? Outside of the train. <laughs> I mean, well, this happened. Can and I it ask was, a question? Can you blame a person who does that? I don't. He must have been really fucked no. up. No, well, can you really you don't blame? Don't have many other I mean, options. I mean, it, right. Okay, here are the options. Yeah. Shit in your pants. Right. I feel or... like I would do that. <laughs> I, I, yeah, like, I get it. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, but, uh, I wouldn't. But you know, go all out for it. You yeah. Know? I mean, I did he at it, least dude. go behind a trash? Only in New no, York City. No, there's I like love a it. corner in the wall, like a little opening Oof. in the wall. Ducks in there, boom. Well, maybe the MTA should come up with a solution. You know, maybe they should have like a little corner bathroom. You know, I think well, that's so all amazing. The, well, all of the bums would use it for their own personal well, hygienic. Yeah. Well, there you go. You see that? You come up with an there's answer. There's always a there's reason. All, you know, rats answer. fucking having baths. Yeah. Is it a rat spa? You can't win. <laughs> you, you a just rat can't spa. Win. That's exactly oh, what we <laughs> New York City needs. A fucking <laughs> spa for rats. I love it. And maybe they'll <laughs> leave me alone if they're a little more relaxed. <laughs> I love it. All right, who's the chirper, by the way, Iman? That was a great chirp. We had a discussion about this one. Edwin, Washington Square Park. All Thank right, you, Edwin. Edwin. Thank you for that chirp, Thanks, Edwin. Edwin. All right, I have a chirp from Benjamin, who's from the Upper uh, West Side. And Benjamin, chirp, highlight of living in NYC happened. Saw Paul McCartney at a Yom Kippur service. Ooh. Okay. Hashtag I love New York. Hashtag Beatles. All I, right. Paul McCartney's Jewish? Yes. He must and have he, pr- he's in town. Really? Well. Yeah, he is Jewish, yes. Paul How McCartney. come no one in the world knows this? Well, wow. You didn't know that? I didn't know that. I don't think any. I don't well, know. Well, let's Google. I don't you think must it's have true. Converted. <laughs> <laughs> well, what this is the highlight about? of Benjamin's why, why no uh, uh, That's awesome. uh, highlight of living in NYC. He's part of the he clan. Saw <laughs> Paul McCartney. <laughs> With me. Yom Kippur. That was I'm, last I'm week. I'm Jewish. All right. Yeah, well, thanks for that chart, Benjamin. Uh, thank you. I'm Jewish. You are? I'm coming out. I'm 4% Jewish. Oh, you're 4% yeah. Jewish. Well, oh, Ian is also. I'm full blown. Full blown. Wow. Yeah, my mama's a Jew, so I'm a Jew. I love it. Shout out to all the Jews. We love them. I love them. Yeah, huh? beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. She, he is. And Happy New Year, Rosh Hashanah. His oh, wife is. Ah, so I guess he accompanied his wife at a Yom Kippur service. All right, we got that. All right, Ian, what do you have to chirp about? All right, uh, what I have here is Liz from Far Rockaway. Liz says this. I bonded with the lady on the ferry today after we discovered a mutant displeasure for the gross woman in the bathroom <laughs> eating smelly boiled eggs oh, okay. and sauerkraut next to us. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 
In the bathroom? <laughs> Eggs and sauerkraut? Whoa, man! <laughs> oh. you, gotta, you gotta love these chirps, yeah. I'm telling you. I know folks at home right now are saying... What? Yeah. These, this stuff happens in here in the, in the Wait, city. Who combines that, though? Yeah, yeah. I yeah, think that's the big gross. shock there is not the fact that she's on the toilet eating a meal. So is she like... <laughs> it happens. There? I've been there. I had a gig. I'm starving. There's no fucking dressing sure. room, and you got to eat, eat somewhere. How do you do the sauerkraut and boiled eggs? You're like, well, <laughs> you're on that, the toilet eating sauerkraut that is egg? astonishing. That is a Damn! And, and just Ew. the combination, <laughs> yeah. the flavors, and the, the flavor smell. profile oh, so there is, is awful. Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, uh, Imani, what do you have? We'll do one more round of chirp. Okay. Uh, and then we'll take a break. Y'all, y'all, y'all. I'm trying to look for a good one, but whatever. Would you like one? A Would you like one? a chirp? Chirp, chirp, chirp. <laughs> Good. Um, How about this one? This one's boring. a good one. Here, they're all boring. To me, How I find this all one? of these to be boring. Okay, no, this one. Okay, wait, got, what, what do you got? Oh, what do you got? Oh, oh, oh. But there's so many. What do you have? Okay. Anytime I wear a light-colored dress and sit down on the subway, I'm always worried I'll stand up with a dirty stain on my buttocks. Oh, <laughs> Come yeah, on. A lot of gross uh, chirps tonight. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's is that really your biggest fear, it's sitting on the subway, is a dirty stain? Well, who's the How chirping? about it? Contracting fucking HIV. Oh God! Oh, now you're oh, going God. a little hardcore. Like, like yeah. it, it, is that is that not politically correct? No, you're right. Am I not allowed to no, mention no, no, the no, AIDS no. ever? This is sharp about it, honey. This, this is <laughs> wrong. Man, you just can't say it. That's you the magic of the show. Can't say HIV ever in yeah. any context. Who, who's, who's the chirp? Who by the way, who am I talking to? Okay, uh, Tawana. Stuyvesant. All right, that's Tawana. That's her. That's her fear. Uh, okay, Tawana. Nice pretty, pretty do you wanna? Well, maybe, maybe she's talking wear about wear a darker dress. Hey, good. Yeah, there Tawana. you go. Tawana. Okay, so that's not her name, was it? <laughs> well, the subways can be so oh, dirty, you know. Tawana maybe in uh, Tawana's. Uh, uh, I just want to say her name over and over. Tawana. 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 You want to create a song? You wanna Tawana? Tawana. 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 I want a Tawana. 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 Look at that, huh? The artist in Imani Copeland. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, shut up, Imani. All right, there we go. We have another chirp from Jonathan. We have a lot of subway chirps tonight. All right, Jonathan says. I shoved my arm in the closing door. All right, stop. That's all we need to know. <laughs> Good for you. Oh, come. Moving on. Because it's fun. Let's edit these. Make them you more wanna, yeah, interesting. Let's them. <laughs> all right, let's leave it at that. Jonathan, I won't, I won't <laughs> continue with your chirp. <laughs> subway doors. Uh, okay, because... All right, I won't get... Good. Ian, what do you, what do you right, have? This is Nicole. Subway. And this is another subway one. Let's do it. Nicole, Brownsville. Good thing I didn't blow dry my hair today. The J train had my back. Coming through with no AC. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Oh, I guess that's, you know, okay. Can you dig that? I guess, right? I, mean, I have no hair, so, you know. When you blow dry, what? so no AC, like a hot train will be yeah, the same as blow drying your hair? I don't know. I don't know the answer. But why is everyone talking about the subway today? I've never ridden the J. Is there anything else it's a, it's a big, in New York it's a big City? Issue. Yeah, See, there's right. no nightlife. See? There's no everyone's nightlife. on the subway that's complaining. True. That's true. All right, we got to change that. Um, what, what, do you have a different chirp? Let's do one more, and then we're going to take a break by Mr. Ian Bamberger and come back. Thank you, sir. And have a discussion with our lovely guest, Imani Coppola. And here's some songs, in fact, by Imani. What do we have? Another fucking subway. All right, let's not do it. All right. I'm, All right, I'm you know what? Let's not do the subway. We're going to do, uh, well, I'll Can do I just one. make my own up right now? Go ahead. Of course. All right. The Sidewalk Family Blockade. Mm. When a family is walking in front of you. And they have absolutely no awareness of anyone else in the world but themselves. Yeah. Don't you hate that? I hate it. I hate it also. Yes. Yeah. It's like a barricade it. of, I guess, tourists. A lot family. Of find no, it's a family too. barricade. And it's not just tourists. It's families in general. Well, Fuck your family. New, <laughs> New York yeah. is no better at times. <laughs> she didn't really mean that. Maybe she did. Fuck you and your family. <laughs> All right, folks. That was our round of chirps. I hope you enjoyed them. I, I find them very funny, and uh, they're real comments. All right, so keep them coming on chirpaboutit.com. Keep those moments, those thoughts, and those opinions coming. Chirpaboutit.com. All right, with that, we're going to take a lovely break by Mr. Ian Bamberger. Thank you, sir. All right. All right. Uh, this song is called Cherry Baby. It's, uh, it's a tune I wrote a little while back with my father. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this little ditty. Remember me. Cherry baby. So sweet. 
come to me, yeah. On your feet, take your time. We don't have to rewind. Chara, baby, what's the plan here? I can make you better. Help me face my fear. Chara, baby, let's just fly away. I say, kiss me, baby. Kiss me all night long. Kiss me, Chara, baby. Kiss me all night long. All night long. Chara, baby, yeah. so innocent, you want to live until the day you die. Chara, baby, don't make me ask why. I say kiss me, baby, kiss me all night long. Share a baby folks, this is Ed Lemo. Who is Ed Lemo and why should I listen? Ed Lemo is an attorney that is unique in that he gives consumers good, solid information about the law that will help protect them against irresponsible drivers, landowners, and doctors and hospitals who are negligent and cause you harm. Ed Lemo has been representing individuals against insurance companies since 1984. Ed Lemo limits his practice to accident, injury, and medical malpractice claims. You can find out more about me at my website at www.lemolaw.com. That's www.lemolaw.com. Or you can reach me at 646-522-9082. So if you're injured in an accident or a victim of malpractice and you need a trial attorney who has experience in the courtroom and gets results, Call Ed Lemo at 646-522-9082, or you can reach me at edwardlemo at yahoo.com. Or you can go to my website for further information, www.lemolaw.com. You'll be glad you did. Thank you. All right. Uh, great personal injury attorney, Ed Lemo. Please check him out, lemolaw.com. Great, uh, great sponsor. We also are sponsored by Chirping Chicken. So please go onto their website, chirpingchickens.com, download their app for a huge discount on any meal. Uh, we also have Accordia Shipping, who's one of our sponsors, accordiashipping.com. So uh, check them out for all of your shipping needs. All right. And for tonight's dinner, papajohns.com. Check out Papa John's. Mention Chirp about it live for a huge discount as well. Thank you for that. Well, Ian, man, what a great sh- what a great song. I appreciate it, Pat. Cherry Baby. Yeah, it's always huh? nice to bring a new tune onto the show. And- I love it. Yeah. Hey, I mean, can I we're ask lucky you a to have you. Question? Yeah. yeah, go ahead, please. How does your wife feel about that song? Cherry <laughs> Baby? She loves all the music I write. I mean, who is it about though? It's not um, about your wife. No, it's not about my wife. Who is it about? How do you deal with that? Great White Buffalo. 
Huh? It's about the, <laughs> the great white buffalo. Uh, I don't. The one I'm that missing always something? got away. It's a joke. It's a joke, cat. That's my wife. <laughs> it, it's a song. You know, sometimes you got to write a song that necessarily, well, you know, it, it's something you make up in your mind. Something other oh, yeah. people can relate to. Right. You know? Well, you, you should know that. No, you're I you're do, an artist. I, yes, I, I am. Musical artist. Thank you for reminding me. No, I just wanted to know how you dealt with it in your marriage situation. If you suddenly write a song and it's all lusty and sexual, uh-huh. and you, doesn't that stir some sort of mm. curiosity or in, in your wife? Well, let me uh, ask you a question. Would that stir any question in I your mind? I have never right? been with a songwriter. Uh-huh. I've been with musicians, but not a songwriter. Yeah. Interesting. But I've definitely written songs inspired by fantasies you yeah. know that yeah, i haven't yeah. acted upon but i just never really questioned like how it made that person feel Phew. she's totally yeah. supportive 100 percent of anything i write about as long as the song's good like right. if it's a shitty song she's cool. like eh. yeah you know nice. move on <laughs> so that's <laughs> yeah i like that that's actually a new that's a uh, hard great, thing, great song the I person you love tells you to move on from <laughs> <the scene. laughs> hey listen <laughs> you're I, writing I, I can take it i, I need it i need right, it everyone yeah. needs that <laughs> It is well, true. Tough love. Tough love. Well, uh, welcome, yeah. Miss Imani Coppola. Welcome well, back you. to the show. It's we great always to love see you to guys. Have you. It's always fun to it's, have you here. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. It's fun to be here. But I, I have to remind you, like, most of my day is spent in isolation. And when I come here, you're like the first people I talk, talk to. And it's, it's totally awkward for me. It's so Why are you in isolation? It's such a harsh transition. What do you do? Because I live alone with a cat. I mean, I talk to her. And I cool. talk to her. How's that cat constantly. doing, by the way? Fucking great. Is he? Fluffy. I love it. Is Fluffy. that the name or is that just like the no, texture? No, she just is. Okay. Her name is Maybe. Oh. Maybe. How per- come Maybe? Perhaps. <laughs> well, I wasn't <laughs> sure. So That's maybe. one reason. I love her. Um, maybe. She's Maybe and she is. But I, I mean, that. right now she's definitely. Definitely. She's not Maybe. She's definitely. She's definitely. Oh, yeah. wow. This could be trippy. I have, I have cat horniness <laughs> where you want to have sex with your cat, but it's not like sexual sex. It's just like you just want to. Uh, right. There's, oh, but there's no way to satisfy yeah. whatever that is. You yeah, can't even just squeeze like a little them that baby. hard. You want to munch on their cheeks. Right. You want to hurt them. them yeah. And like, yeah, you hurt them with love. Yeah. And I know it's a very confusing I human characteristic, I, and we all know what I think what people can relate to that. Is. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. That's cool. It's nice. That's love. You know? That's love. Yeah. Love, oh, love for cute things. It's a specific love. Um, does your cat give you presents like mice? My cat doesn't or... do shit for me. Okay. She's... <laughs> but you give her She's unconditional She's not love. an emotional support cat. Okay. <laughs> and I am deluding myself if I think she is. Okay. okay. Um, but, yeah, she used to chase mice into my bed. I, I, I became oh. very traumatized by rodents and anything moving. It's the opposite of what they should do. Well, oh she was trying to get the <laughs> mouse, and it yeah. happened to find a pathway into my bed from the blanket, and just, and you know, okay. in the middle of the night, oh. that'll fuck your night. shit up. And this happened on more than one occasion. <laughs> so I moved. I evacuated <laughs> I the premises. Say, I slept so at a hotel. You know, I, I I was so adrenalized, I couldn't even sleep at the hotel. You know, oh my like, gosh. What is that? <laughs> well, I'm, uh, I'm so happy to have you. So you're working it. on some uh, a new album. I am. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Yep. What's it, is it the uh, pro protagonist? Is that the, the name? Pro, yeah, the, the protagonist. Pro, yeah. Well, tell us about oh. that. What's the, uh, what's the well, idea behind Well, um, the idea is music. It's what mm-hmm. I do. It, mm-hmm. Just get in a room, get whatever's in you out. And this happens to be one of the most rich times to, to get content and information from what the fuck is going on here in america and in the world and for a while i was i was in denial of it i wanted to ignore it i Mm -hmm. that fucking that man was elected and then i got very deeply depressed and despondent which is the worst place you could be it was like i was mourning and i know a lot of people who experience the same thing yeah and then at a certain something woke me the fuck up Mm -hmm. it's like this is not how you handle your life Ever. This has never been how you handle life. Mm-hmm. You take that shit by the fucking balls. Yeah. You process it. You write it. You you create an awareness. And yes, everyone has something to say. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. But not everyone has something to, to say in the way that I say things. You know. Yeah. Okay. I, I say, I always try to heal. Mm-hmm. I try to heal with humor. I try to heal with whatever. You know, music and yeah. um, not in a corny yoga namaste way, but just in my own way. Yeah. And I'm not just bitching. You know, I'm not just going to Facebook and because that is part a lot of, of people the fucking do that. problem. Yeah, it was like, it's, oh, my opinion. I'm going to take this in Facebook. It's not Enter. doing anything. It's not, it's no, not it helping the situation. Sometimes we need to be more patient with each other. 
than ever right yeah. now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and loving and yeah. compassionate. So anyway, so I got in a room and I I I didn't have I, there's no budget, you know. There's no budget in the music industry. So yeah. like if it's so a lot, I'm playing, it's a lot, I, it's cheap, it's cheap. Basically I'm playing everything, you know, I'm okay. doing everything within my means. Huh. And this is this is special to me because I've always outsourced, you know, in some ways um so I was like, no, you're going to sit there and, you know, th- it's not the destination. It's the process, you know, that is where you will find the greatest amount of self-respect mm-hmm. and uh, is through the process and just enjoying mm-hmm. the journey yeah. of writing and, yeah. and and being patient with it. It's not going to happen in a day. Take your time. Savor no. it, you know. Of course, I miss the world. Uh-huh. It takes time and it's tedious as hell. Everything is in real time. You can't fast forward a song and play it faster to get through it faster you have to just sit there listen over and over yeah. feel yeah. it and yeah. let it breathe and then you know rest and and don't listen to it and that's part of the process so i could go on about this this is what i do you know this is all i do so i know <laughs> awesome. a lot about it but yeah i'm making an album i love it all right so what, with that we're going to play one of the songs oh, from that wow. album okay. huh? all right which I'm, one we i'm playing? acting uh, surprised Sage? Yeah, um, Sage is the name of the song. All right, we want to play yeah, Sage. Uh, uh, folks, Sage by Miss Imani Coppola. Okay. I'm embarrassed by my anger, ashamed of my misery. I could blame it on the state of the world, but it really all comes down to me. I don't know where to put it, need another outlet. I don't want to be another loaded weapon Trying just to shoot my way to heaven I don't want to be another human racist Living just to justify my hatred Cause all it does is keep me in a cage Keep me in a rage I'm burning through a thick side stick of sage Trying to put that demon in its place I'm sick of feeling anxious I'm tired of feeling lonely when I can't see a smile in the world, I've given into hopelessness. Am I a part of the solution, or am I just a problem? Why the hell can't I be free? What the hell is haunting me? I don't wanna be another loaded weapon, trying just to shoot my way to heaven. I don't wanna be another. Living just to justify my hatred is all it does is keep me in a cage, keep me in a rage. I'm burning through a thick side stick of sage, trying to put that demon in its place. Oh, Cause I don't wanna be a loaded weapon Trying just to shoot my way to him I don't wanna be another human racist Living just to justify Just keep me in a cage Keep me in a rage I'm gonna do a thick side stick of sage Trying to put that demon in Through a thick side stick of sage, trying to put the demon in its place. Woo, sage. There it is. Hi, oh, that Monty was Coppola. Shit. It's a hot song. Thank you. Yeah. Um, hot. I don't know if it's I like hot. it. It's hot to me. I, I think it's a sincere song. It's like, a sincere. I, well, I really meant it, it, even though I was, I'm embarrassed about singing about corny subjects, but. 
I truly felt like I was in a place where I was just so consumed with anger. It was so debilitating. And I missed just feeling good. And a lot of, you know, the the inner work I had to do to get, just get get this shit the fuck out of you. This Mm. is your life. Mm -hmm. This is destructive. And it's like you're putting out such a bad vibration. Uh, Well, you know, a lot of people. um, I know, but I I think. We all feel this darkness, this dark cloud yeah. over us since, you know, this, this you know, D. Trump became our president. Yeah. So uh, it's not only you're here, you can feel it all over New York City. Oh, People yeah, are still I mourning. You but know? I, th- I think we have to take a little more personal we need responsibility yeah. um, for adjusting that mm-hmm. vibration. It's okay. in our control, yeah. you know, I- I- individually. Yeah. You so know what I that, said to That's a, the only I, control we have. Yeah, you're right. I said to a friend the other day, it'll mm-hmm. pass. It will right. pass. Right. You know, he will pass. And this right. whole moment will pass, right. you know, this dark cloud. Yeah. So uh, well, I'm happy about that song. Oh, good thank song. you. Yeah, thank you. Good, good, good. Is this whole album political? Uh, it, there are a lot of elements of politics. How could you ignore that right now? Yeah. There, there's so much to, juicy stuff to talk mm-hmm. about. And, and, All the time. and I switch genres a lot um, because it, it allows a platform to really explore these topics and yeah. in these situations through different genres of music yeah so you'll hear flares of country sometimes then you'll just hear like really just distorted sort of uh indie rock or um punk or whatever and you know just really go to that emotion and Mm -hmm. and that's Mm -hmm. what songwriting allows me to do it Mm -hmm. allows me to go straight it's like mainlining the emotion through the genre and i don't like to to stay in one genre you know Mm -hmm. that's not my thing but um so the lyric there is, I'm burning through a thick size stick of sage. It originally was dick size uh, stick of sage, <laughs> and, and I, was, I was encouraged to change the lyric to, to broaden my audience. And, that and, could also and, and, and I was in very, size. of course, I was very, I, yeah, that. Exactly. I was so like stubborn that, about it. I, for five months, I was like, fuck you, it's dick size stick of sage, you uh-huh. know? <laughs> because I, I wanted to, you know, have, like kill two birds with like the, the message, like the Penises are a big problem in the world right now, and the, like the fact an ego that they can't, really? well, they can't control themselves. And and at the time, you know, the whole Me Too movement was kind of at a fever pitch, um, and I wanted to mix the two. And then I was mm-hmm. like, "Fuck this!" You know, mm-hmm. take out the negativity. The song is about stopping the negativity. Yes. The word "dick" is negative. You know, it's just like just take to it some. out. <laughs> and so I switched it to "thick," and but to me, it's always going to be "dick." All right, there we but go. Comes across, <laughs> but the song comes across; it has a positive vibe. You know the whole sound, right? Then why, why it. spoil the whole thing with Dick? You know? Really, because maybe that would stand out more if that was in the original <laughs> recording. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> well, spoil the whole thing with, with Dick. Dick. All right. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna play another song by by you. All right. All right. All right which one are we playing now, Jade? Yes. All right. All right. Let's cool. this one. Uh, this is another. By this one uh, is called Lighthouse. Lighthouse by yeah. Imani Coppola. A song from my heart. If ever you lose your mind, I will know where to find it. I keep it somewhere close to my heart. So when you're ready to think straight, just come to me. I'll give you a little piece, and then I'll let you be. If ever you run out of time, I will give you some of mine. Ooh. 
goes to suicide And it's a shame cause who really wants to die We just want to experience weightlessness free from gravity We all try to achieve this weightlessness It's ultimately what makes us closer to the ground Puts us in our early grave Trying to say, please don't kill yourself today. Don't kill yourself. Hey. Any day, any day, it's all gonna be heaven. Heaven, heaven, It is gonna be okay. Heaven, 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 heaven. It is gonna be okay. Heaven, heaven, Ooh, I'll tell you. Lighthouse, huh? Yeah. yeah. I love that song. Lighthouse Thank is cool. You. It's, um, uplifting. It's uplifting, but it's also like a suicide awareness. I Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. Yeah, listening to the lyrics. You know, very uplifting. You may be able to save some uh, some lives. I hope so. Um, you know? You know, suicide is trending. I think well, they have these, uh, there's these hotlines uh, that you can call. You know, when when you're, I guess, when you're in that mindset of committing Come suicide, on. what have you. Have you ever called a hotline? Listen, well, is that the person you want well, to talk to when you're on the list? I don't. I'd rather listen to your song. Exactly. <laughs> if I, if put, on, put on this song. <laughs> Fuck the you know, hotline. Actually, you call the hotline and that song should just be prompted. I, yes. <laughs> you know what? That's uh, They should shop, a, you know, you should shop that around, that idea oh, around. I just want my knee. Yeah. You know, before they even act, they put them on hold and play the song by Imani Kobla. <laughs> you know, talk and say, you yeah. know what? I'm just well, hanging yes, out. I'm just hanging out. I'm not doing this shit. That's what it is. That's what we want. Great song. Thank yeah. you. So Thank how you. many songs are, are in this album? Uh, 12. Pro- uh, More 12. or less, yeah. I mean, I've got segues and stuff. Um, I'm not really considering them songs. I just consider them part of the song. That's why I, I kind of didn't tell you that this song is like has two parts to mm-hmm. it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, 12 songs. It's going to be a great album. It's my favorite album so far that I've ever written. Oh, good. I, I was just um, going to ask you. Uh, yeah, what's... because I went from the, the weird... Headspace I was in the most just cynical, sarcastic, snarky fucking thing with hypocrites. That my mm-hmm. last album, your last album, which totally was totally auto tuned, and just me being as like n- just cut off from my own emotions and in in such denial. And I was like, no, take all of that off. Hey, Preston. Yeah, right, hey, my band here? just arrived. He's yeah. in my band now. <laughs> oh, Preston's We're in a in the band. Yeah. <laughs> oh, welcome, Preston. What's up, man? How are you? Oh yeah. Hey, man. I love Good. it. <laughs> Look at that, huh? Thanks for coming. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, stuff. Your album. Your album. Oh, right, right. Uh, yeah, I totally forgot. I lost my train of thought. Just can someone just say well, no, a word? You, 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 you were talking about this Hypocrites. album. You know, uh, uh, the difference from your past. I'm like, uh, this is seniorhood. <laughs> I want the A track. I want the the cassette, the A track. The <laughs> I still listen. I'm the only one on this earth still listens to physical music. So, <laughs> ah, the fact that you got to call it physical music <laughs> yeah, is yeah, gross. Physical to me. media. Yeah. Right. When is the album coming out? <laughs> I think I'm going to, um, I think probably spring, <clears throat> I okay. think it's a spring album. Um, and I'm not sure because I, I, it's still up in the air whether I'm going to do it with a label or just follow through with my plate of just complete independence. I mean, it doesn't make a difference. Who's going to buy it? No one buys shit anymore. I'm going to lose money either way. So you never I'm, know. I'm thinking about just giving it away too. Like I just really don't know, and I probably should should not Give have said away. that. But <laughs> yeah, just here. The people in Japan so may it, still have it. They still you they know, still buy. Them. Yeah, CDs. they still buy stuff. Tower is still in Japan. So and yeah, now you got these annoying fans yeah. who are like you need to release it on vinyl. Fuck you. <laughs> you want to pay for the? You want to send me the money to print vinyl? Like yeah, give me all a people break. People actually ask you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Fucking kids. They have no idea. Yeah. For those who would like to buy uh, your your uh, your album, how could they uh, how could they purchase it? Uh, when it comes when out, it comes out. Uh, you know, Spotify. Spotify. Oh, that's not a purchase. iTunes. Um, probably have it on Bandcamp, Amazon, well, all of that stuff. All that stuff. Yeah. yeah the, you know the usual. Yeah. Is there something new that I'm missing? I don't know. Well, I'm, I'm sure someone's working on a new uh, platform right now. Isn't it funny you that know? I did not mention one physical, we, quote, store? 
yeah. at all. Like at it's, all. it's just obsolete. Well, it's the world. The world is changing, you know, and we just yeah. have to kind of like roll roll along with the punches. With, with yeah, it. it's a strange time though. Like we have, we're so advancing and uh, like very fast, and then we still have cemeteries. Like what yeah. this mm, this yeah. crazy sort of well, what do you mean? Duality. Like they're cemeteries? Fuck yeah! What the fuck are we doing? Burying people? I just love oh, this young lady. Like what the fuck? Where are we gonna yeah, put yeah. all the dead people? The, the whole uh, world is gonna be a graveyard eventually. What do you suggest we do? Wait, fucking yeah. burn them! Get the oh, fucking we, we or burn them. Put them in the, them, yeah. them in the ground. You know, uh, cult. You know, just make some yeah. corn. I don't know. Like grow some apple yeah, trees. But, yeah, they that, have those that, pots. Did you know anything about those weird burial pods where they? With the cremated ashes? Uh, no, it's a human it. body decomposing and, and turning into a tree. Oh, I have no oh, idea actually, about that. Like, oh, that's another, uh, another, another topic. For another yeah, yeah, it's like a way of metaphor for the <laughs> Someone had a, when he, they were murdered, God knows when ago, there was a pit in their stomach. Somehow light got in. Whoa. A and, that's how they found them. Oh, wow. wow. They didn't belong in the area. Holy shit. Uh, crazy. Cannibalistic that's figs. That's so cool. Yeah. Well, we talk, we chirp about everything sure, on the show. Yeah, huh? we do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we do. Cool All right, we have a few more there. minutes. You want, do you want to collaborate? Would you like to collaborate with uh, Ian? No. On a song? <laughs> Come on. I don't you think you have a choice anymore. anymore. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen? I know. I, I, my voice sounds like shit today. I was up well, smoking and drinking. Can you just speak then and just like say angry things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll definitely. Okay. All right, let's do that. <laughs> Got to do a collaboration. I'll, qu- I'll quack. Yeah. K-wax. K-wax. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Your duck sucks. Quack. <laughs> Why don't you chirp? My Your duck, duck sucks. sucks. <laughs> Your duck sucks. My Your duck, duck sucks. sucks. So what is this? Just improvise, say whatever. Yeah. So everyone I mean, play. Coming, Why is it got to be just us? Uh, you know, uh, Preston is here, of course. Let's hear your duck. Quack, your duck quack. sucks. <laughs> My duck sucks. <laughs> Your duck sucks. sucks. Your duck sucks. All right, Pat, your turn. My, your duck sucks. No, I don't know what I'm saying. quack. Quack. All right, quack. Uh, I'm going to chirp. <laughs> all right, do what you do. Well, in that, I'm just going to actually close out the show, and I'd like your to duck thank sucks. Imani Coppola for You're coming so on. My pleasure. Thank you for You're having always me. You're always welcome back. I want you back all the time. You're I love so your mind, young lady. You thank are you. sharp. Yeah, and talented as well. Great voice. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Jeez. Hold on. I got to so throw my plate. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Of course. Let's, let's keep it rolling. Funkin on every Friday, 6 p.m. I, I, I spend all the funkiest jams. Uh, this week I'm doing I'm continuing my Jamiroquai special and end of summer jam so cool. all classic joints so yeah it's, right it's on. great funky. show by the way right yeah, on brother every now and then yeah. oh yeah, yeah great yeah yeah yep. it's, it's gonna build up build up and uh, gonna have some musical guests uh, in the future so definitely uh, be on the lookout can for I be that. a guest are you funky. <laughs> yeah, I can be funky. I can make it funky. I got a funky duck. How funky Doesn't is your suck. chicken, or how funky is your <laughs> duck? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. What a great show, huh? Yeah, break down, I just love Get to have down. fun on this show. Oh, well, Ian Bamberger! Isn't that the point? Ooh, Thank isn't you that for the point? Isn't that the point? All right, folks, that was our uh, episode of Trap Provided Live. Hope you enjoyed it. Please come back. Same time, same place. City World Radio Woo! Network, 8 p.m. Trap Provided Live. Thank you. Hi, I'm Janice Ian. Do you remember how excited you were at the start of summer every year and how the summer just started to drag on after a few months and you couldn't wait to get back to school, see your old friends, make new friends, get new books and a new locker and a clean slate? Well, you should have been excited about music class, too, because that was a special room where you went to sing, perform with your friends, and learn all kinds of interesting stuff about great composers, instruments, different kinds of music and songs. We remember our music teachers because they were so passionate about helping us learn to love music. They helped to spark a love for listening to notes and voices and rhythms that continues to enrich our lives even today. I bet your kids feel the same way about music class. Ask them and make sure they get involved with music in school and in their lives. A PSA brought to you by MENC, the National Association for Music Education, and the National Anthem Project, the campaign to restore America's voice through music education. Music, part of a sound education.
Today's entertainment has been brought to you in part by Galito's Restaurant. Galito's specializes in Portuguese cuisine. In addition to these delicacies, Galito's offers pasta, steaks, seafood, and chops. A full-service bar includes wines, beers, and spirits to complement your meal. Galito's offers casual ambiance at the bar or their dining room. Galito's also has a private banquet room for social events with a party package to accommodate your budget. Galito's also offers seasonal cafe seating. Galito's is located at 29 Elm Avenue in Mount Vernon, New York, conveniently located across from the Mount Vernon East train station. You can call Galito's at area code 914-668-0100. Once again, the number is area code 914-668-0100 for information on reservations. Or go to the website at www.galitosrestaurant.com. Enjoy your dining experience. Voted number one jazz cabaret club by New York Magazine, the Metropolitan Room is one of the most critically acclaimed venues in New York City and is known as the home for big name talents and rising stars. Known as a celebrity hangout, the Metropolitan Room is a high-end cabaret and jazz club and brings the best in live music to New York City every night of the week. Fabulous award-winning Broadway, TV, film, and radio performers take the stage in an intimate 115-seat elegant venue. Aside from the great highly professional artistic shows and audience, Metropolitan Room provides an exceptional appetizer and dessert menu as well as exotic and specialty drinks prepared by top New York City bartenders. The Metropolitan Room is located at 34 West 22nd Street, conveniently located near public transportation. For information or reservations, call area code 212-206-0440. Once again, the area code is 212-206-0440. Or go to their website at www.metropolitanroom.com. <laughs> 